guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is a look at the Sense interface on the new HTC Legend. HTC has done a lot to its Sense interface. Since the earlier Android devices like the Hero, it's much more usable, it's got some cool features, a lot of widgets, and overall it's just a much better experience, especially in terms of speed. So let's take a look at it now. So I'm going to unlock the screen, and by the way, the AMOLED screen on the HTC Legend is just fantastic. I'm going to zoom in on the screen a little bit, and right away you can see the, uh, the weather animation that comes sort of from the HTC HD2. So if it's sunny outside, you will get a ray of sunshine. If it's cloudy, clouds will kind of fly across. If it's raining, you'll get raindrops on your screen. Very nice way to sort of experience your device. And by the way, just a note on this optical trackpad here. The Hero had a mechanical trackpad, but now it's a little bit easier to be more precise with moving your thumb around on this optical area. And to click on something, you tap in, and here it pops up on the screen. So something to get used to. It's kind of a nice addition, and it really helps with one-handed usability. Okay, so let's get started. This is the home screen. This is how HTC uh, puts together the home screens out of the box. We get the clock up here. Tapping on the clock will bring you to an HTC Sense-like clock application. So from here, we can go to the world clock. We can set the alarm clock, and I'm waking up at 7 a.m. it looks like tomorrow. Um, over here is the stopwatch, and on the right, there is the timer. So really nice Sense interface applied to the clock application. It seems kind of simple, but it's, it's a nice congruency. Going down, we have some other shortcuts that I've added, such as a link to call somebody or an application. And also, you get your, your weather and your high and low temperature for the day, which is quite nice. It knows where you are. I didn't have to configure this. It used the GPS to find out where I am. So I'm going to swipe to uh, the left here. And this is my email inbox widget, so I can see at a quick glance the emails that I have. If I want to open up an email, I just tap on it, and it comes up. And there it is. From here, I can also launch my entire email inbox. I can tap down here to go straight to the message list. And by the way, the message list also is wrapped in this nice sense interface. So kind of taken from Windows Mobile, actually, we have this list down here we can view by conversation. This is really great. We can see the VIP group if you have people set in a special group. We can go to unread, marked, meeting invitations, and also anything that has an attachment. An awesome way to quickly filter your email. And by the way, you can swipe the optical trackpad here to move between these different fields. And you see this interface a lot all throughout the operating system, which again makes for a very nice consistent feel. So that was the email application. Let's go to the left. This is the friend stream, so this will tie into multiple social networks. At the moment, I only have it set up with Twitter, and it automatically updates, and I can quickly glance and see what's happening on Twitter, and I can tap on one tweet in particular. It will open up the friend stream application. And from here, I can quickly tweet. I can use the Sense interface once again to see all of my, all of my mentions or I can see my private messages, or I can see uh, any favorites that I have made. So let's go back to the previous screen. Over to the left, we have the weather, weather widget, which is very functional. It knows exactly where you are. If you have multiple cities set up, you can swipe your finger up and down. Or tapping on the weather widget will bring up a beautiful weather application. And here it is. And we can actually go through a little bit of a demo here. So. You can see what the weather animations will look like. The weather animations aren't as smooth as I think they should be. We're going to see the same implementation of Sense on the HTC Desire, which has a Snapdragon processor. I think it's going to rock on the Desire. Um, so we can swipe and see the other animations, but you get the point. Very visual, very nice indeed. Let's go back home. And that was the widget all the way on the left. Now, a problem that HTC has solved is, OK, I've got seven screens to customize. I want to get all the way over to the right. Now they have that pinch functionality, which lets you zoom out to one particular, um, to be able to see all of your different widgets. And you can, you can tap on one of the screens and get there. Or another way you can get here is just by tapping the Home button while you're home. And this is just a really quick and easy way to jump around from screen to screen. So I'm going to continue on my way here. This is the favorite people widget, which lets you quickly dial people that you call on a regular basis. And it's very easy to add to. And tapping on these lines here will jump you into the full contacts list, which also has an HTC Sense-like interface. 
And let's go over to the right. Here's the bookmarks tab, which is quite nice. It shows you a little preview of the websites that you visit on a regular basis. So up here, there's Pocket Now. You can see the Pocket Now logo at the top, very elegant. We're gonna talk about the web browser in a future video. Swiping to the right, we have nothing because I wanna show you some of the other widgets that HTC doesn't put on the device or on the home screens out of the box. So a little tap and hold will bring up, whoops, missed it there. We'll bring up the widget screen. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the things marked with HTC. So calendar, that's right from HTC. And there are three different styles that you can have. You can have this color-coded version, the simple version, or the full calendar. And so I'm gonna go into the full calendar. And quite simply, this is a widget that sits on my home screen that's beautiful and very interactive. So I can tap on tomorrow, see what I'm doing tomorrow. I also get the weather integrated right into uh, the calendar application, which is quite nice. Let me get back to that. And you can see how fast it is going from screen to screen now that HTC has added that new feature. So I'm gonna delete this widget and we'll go through the other ones. Okay, we just got calendar. Uh, you've already seen the clock. HTC has added footprints. This was also from Windows Mobile. And there are two different styles you can have, kind of the condensed style or the full style. So I'm gonna click select. And here we have footprints right from Windows Mobile. So the idea here is that you take a photo of a place that you wanna to go to again. It will assign geo coordinates so that you can actually map a, you can go onto the map and see where it is you took that picture. So we can tap on one of these items. We can see sort of what the, the notes that we wrote about it. Um, these are all just demo right on the device. I'm going to take that off. Let's add another widget from HTC. See what else we have on here. Okay, we did footprints, and you can see there's an Android uh, Facebook widget. Friend stream, we already saw that. Mail, here's messages. Let's take a look at that. And you've got only one style. Okay, and so here is the awesome looking uh, messages widget. This is, this is brand new. It lets you look into your text messages and you can just flick through your messages very elegantly. You can tap on one to view it in full screen. You can make a new one by tapping on the little pencil icon. Very awesome addition. In fact, this is one I probably have closer to my center area so I can get to it within a, a quick second. So let me uh, remove this and we'll go back to the widget menu and see the other ones. Okay, the music widget is also quite nice, and this is, looks looks different than what you got before on, say, the Hero. Two different styles, simple style and more expanded. Let's look at the more expanded. It's gonna search your device for any music you may have, and can play music right from our home screen. If you have different albums, you can flick through them with your finger, or if you can tap on the album cover, you're taken into the HTC um, music application, which is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you can flip through the album art, tap on something, and play it. And of course, the music continues to play because Android can multitask. Let me, uh, actually, let me delete this. All right, let's go back into the widget area. A lot of really awesome widgets, as you're seeing. News is something that's not new. There's two different styles, simple and expanded. So we can go into, uh, we can add a feed for a particular website and be able to see the news updated right on um, right on our home screen, which is quite nice. So I've just added a feed. Hopefully it'll work now. Doesn't look like it took. Well, let's go to the next one. So we have people. We already saw that, I believe. Yep, that's the, uh, that's the favorite people. We've seen that. Let's go back. Photo album, which is quite nice. Let me show you that. Select which album you want to display here. So this is just a viewer. This is a quick way to browse through photos. Say you've just taken a picture, of, some pictures of a party and you want to show your friends um, what happened at the party. You can flick through. That's my fingerprinty iPad. Uh, these are just stock HTC images that come on the device. And just a simple and quick and easy way to, to browse through pictures. And let's go back to widgets. We're almost done, uh, almost on the list here. We have a photo frame from HTC. I'm not going to sh show that. We have the search from HTC. Again, that's very simple. And then we have some settings here, things that we can add. So we can add a quick link to uh, Wi-Fi, which is quite nice, a toggle switch on and off. And something else I wanted to show you, if I go back here, is the, the stocks application. 
which is also quite robust. And there are three different styles. You can get a stock ticker uh, kind of with a simple view, just one symbol, or with several different symbols. And it's very congruent with the sense look. Again, all of these things are very consistent. And we can tap on one of the particular stock tickers and it will load a chart. And here we go again with the beautiful sense interface with this little scroller along the bottom that you can actually move with the optical joystick. Very, very elegant. Let's go back, delete that. And I think that's pretty much it for the widgets from HTC. There's a huge list. They've spent a lot of time uh, developing really killer widgets for uh, the new breed of Android devices from HTC with this latest version of Sense. And couple that with the fantastic new pinch feature that allows you to quickly jump to any of your home screens. And it's a really killer interface that shows dramatic improvement over where it was before and makes it so much more useful than any other interface, in my opinion, that you can get on a mobile device right now. It just shows you the information that you want and it's all very easily accessible. Now with so many different widgets, what if you want a widget configuration for the weekend, a widget configuration when you're traveling, and a widget configuration when you're at work? Well, you can actually do that uh, with HTC Sense. They've had this on previous generations of Sense. You go to Menu and you click on Scenes. And you can go to a bunch of pre-configured uh, widget setups. And so we're gonna go to, I think this was play right here. And so this is a little bit more casual. So you have a nice looking clock. You can set up a picture album. There's your friend feed. You get this kind of colorful background, music player and bookmarks. You could also configure this particular scene and save it as a custom uh, scene. So let's go back into the scene mode and let's go to travel. Let's say you're traveling. Let's see how HTC thinks you should have your slates or your um, and let's see this. Okay, so for a travel scenario, HTC thinks you should have some world clocks here. Over here is the mail application, although this is the different mail application, different view, pretty cool. We didn't actually show that. We have HTC footprints, weather. Let's see what else we have. We have music, friend stream condensed, your calendar, and then a blank screen over here. So Scenes is a really cool way to customize different widget configurations. And finally, let me just show you the different wallpapers that you get uh, on this device. So I'm gonna go back over here, press menu, and then I'm going to do wallpaper. There's some pretty cool stuff that is here, and you can change the wallpaper on the lock screen or on the home screen. And I'm gonna go to the wallpaper gallery. And there's always cool wallpaper on Android devices, but this is definitely uh, true on the Legend. So we have some very nice landscapes that look beautiful with the AMOLED display. So let's go to that beach scene. That actually stood out. And I'm going to click Set Wallpaper. And there we have a beautiful beach scene as our background. Awesome. So coming up soon, we'll talk about the other software on the HTC Legend. We'll go through web browsing and some of the included programs. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and thanks in advance for doing that. That's it for now.